up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and thanks again for tuning in for another TCG battle video. Today we're gonna play with Aaron Tarbell's list, uh, Evil Toll Brick. That's right, Evil Toll Brick actually got into the top 8 at the North American Internationals. How crazy is that? Just when you thought things weren't possible, well Evil Toll Brick comes out of nowhere. Uh, for those of you that don't know Evil Toll Brick, it actually deals 120 damage and also deals 30 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon that already have damage counters on them. We have uh, things like uh, Evil Toll, the regular one that has been around since uh, the X, Y, Z. Oblivion Wing, a very great card because uh, it has a great weakness. Nowadays, nobody plays Lightning. It has a great resistance because Boswell is everywhere. And uh, we just use this Eveltal card to set up our Pokemon. We have annoying cards like Hoopa to work with. We even have uh, the Tapu Koko here. If we spread a bunch of damage uh, together with, of course, our Latios, uh, we can use also Breakthrough and stuff. So uh, with that, we just use Eveltal Break. It has a bunch of HP and uh, we set up KOs very easily with that. If they come with GXs, Hoopa is our main guy using Max Elixirs on that. We also have uh, an Enhanced Hammers, Mewtwo for the Boswell matchups because Boswell Jacks can come out of nowhere with a choice band. Mewtwo can just make quick work of those Pokemon and we also have Parallel City against things like Molomar and Zoroark works out very well. We have 10 uh, Darkness Energy, so Max Elixir will hit most of the time. And we even have Super Rod to put energies back in the deck, as well as uh, certain Pokemon we might need. Very consistent list with 4N and 4 Sycamore and 3 Cynthia, so a very consistent list. And we are also using Oranguru with the Indestructibility. Only one Tapu Lele because uh, we are running one prize attackers, and we're just gonna slap a bunch of damage, turn after turn after turn, until we get all our prize cards. So that is the list. I am very surprised on how Evil Toll Break actually got in to the top eight was it great matchups uh, i don't know but we are gonna play with this list because we always check out the, the latest decks in town on my channel so be sure you are subscribed so you don't ever miss out and today it is our first match and we are facing tapu bulu presumably this is going to be yeah, I don't know if it's a great matchup. We are have all one prize attacker, so at least that is great to work with. We have an Evel coin, and we already see it hard here, so we're gonna say uh, hello. So uh, yeah, it is against uh, Ruzomat, and uh, she will be able to start here. I uh, presume this is a girl. And we start with Evil Tall, so that is uh, kind of interesting to see here. Evil Tall is great against Boswell, uh, de definitely this list. We also have, of course, our Hoopa to work with. So we do see a bunch of hearts, so she is very excited to play against us. We cannot, uh, however, start first, but it doesn't even matter. We can get the first hit off with Oblivion Wing. Hopefully we won't see a Vika Volt until maybe a yeah, second or third turn, so at least we have something to just uh, do here. We definitely want to get out Okay, this is a Rainbow Rare Tapu Bulu. Tapu Bulu, definitely a great card. Uh, it has the Nature's Judgment, which is uh, uh, barely not able to knock us out. He definitely needs to discard all of uh, her energy so in order to just uh, get the one-hit KO here. We already see Choice Band, not that it's gonna matter too much. Sycamore going in here. So no first turn bridges, so that at least is uh, good news for us. And hopefully we don't see a Grubbin here. Ah, oh, Nest Ball. Grubbin will show its face. We can maybe make that Grubbin stuck in the active while we are not benching anything. But we might just get donked here. So I don't think he, she will be playing Float Stones. Uh, because this list usually runs three or four Guzmas in order to do some crazy stuff. Okay, what do we need? In this situation, we will just attach an energy to the Evel Tall. We can end, or we can Sycamore. And, and the uh, Enhanced Hammer will not work, so I'm just gonna get a heavy Sycamore off here because I want my Hoopa. Hoopa will be the only thing that can save us. We even have Max Elixir, so that is interesting to see here. Come on, Max Elixirs. Uh, yeah, this one will be able to deal 100 uh, bazillion amount of damage. <laughs> Could be okay. So first things first, Max Elixir coming off. It lands successfully, so that is awesome. This one deals 120 damage, so we definitely need our choice band next turn. So another Max Elixir coming off. Uh, it works again, so we have a lot to work with. We don't even need to attach anything because Oblivion Wing will get, of course, that uh, other. Yeah, we're definitely gonna keep our cards in the hand for now. Parallel City might uh, work out later. So Oblivion Wing, 30 damage. That might not seem a lot, but we can get an energy onto our Evelto, and the Evelto break might just come out of nowhere. So so hopefully we draw into a draw supporter. There is a lot of draw supporters in the deck. We of course have three more Sycamores. We have three more and We have three Cynthia. We have Ultra Balls to get our Lele out. So hopefully things will work out here. And I'm uh, definitely gonna see oh, another type of Bulu. That's strange. She probably already has a Vika Vault in the hand. Well, we are just sitting here. We can definitely uh, work with our uh, Eveltal break here. Hopefully he, she does not heal off the damage here. That would be kind of crazy. Okay, choice band. Maybe she's planning something else entirely. Already has a Vika Vault. Presumably, if we don't see the Vika Vault, things will uh, turn out. Okay, manual energy. Cynthia? 
or Sycamore. Cynthia or Sycamore is probably the case. Okay, Sycamore, boom, 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 boom. A lot of cards go into this card. And uh, yeah, a lot, a lot of fancy cards here. Definitely some league promo, so a very experienced player, player whatsoever. Wow, a bunch of rainbow rare Tapu Bulus. I wonder how much effort she uh, put into getting those rainbow rare Tapu Bulus. And this is just a regular attack. That is something I like so much. Okay, we have a Hoopa to work with, so we can already set up our little Hoopa here. That is awesome. So, in that regard, we are just gonna set up the Hoopa. What is she able to do here? She can one-shot us or she can rely on, of course, the Tapu Wilderness GX, which will be able to deal a significant amount of damage. Maybe we should have attached the DCE onto the Eveltal here. Oh, well. We want to surprise him with the Eveltal for now, so we're gonna keep those cards in the hand. The Parallel City is also nice. Can work out if we can just slap it down to the other side. Uh, he, she actually deals 20 less damage, but it is still very annoying to work with indeed. If we smack down the parallels, she cannot rely on Tapu Lele, so maybe that is the correct strategy here. Yeah, let's just place it down like this. She's definitely gonna discard a Tapu Bulu here. Definitely. Come on, do it. So, we need those cards in the hand if we draw into an Ultra Ball, so Oblivion Wing coming up once again, we get another energy onto our Hoopa. Well, looks like we are in a dead drop position, so I cannot promise you guys that we will win with Eveltal, but as you see, it's very easy to set up your Pokemon, and we do have a Hoopa to work with, which can uh, cause a little bit of havoc here and there. We have to make quickly count those cards. Okay, Nature's Judgment, is he gonna get the KO here? Okay, she definitely that gets the KO. She does not expect that we can one-shot at this point, but we can one-shot because we have an Eveltal break that comes out of nowhere, which will be totally awesome. We even have a choice band to work with. Oof, that is going to be crazy. So, out of nowhere, Eveltal break shows up, and uh, we're not gonna attach any energies. We are just gonna go with the 120 damage, which is just enough to knock out this type of Bulu. So, comes out of nowhere, Eveltal break, getting two prize cards in the run with it. And we even have 150 HP, although Vikavolt can already one-shot us, which is kind of man. Maybe we should have flipped around. Actually, the Parallel City didn't help to reduce damage output because Vikavolt is a lightning type. We have also Hoopa to swing around some damage with Choice Band, so I think we're kind of good in this situation. But lucky for us, she did not rely on her GX move, so keeping that Eveltal break in the hand was definitely the best decision we could have gone with. And... Yeah, it looks very, very good indeed. So uh, she was uh, calculating the damage uh, with a choice band. Hoopa would only dealt uh, 110 damage and she had 60 damage on her. So she thought, oh, I'm definitely gonna survive this hit, but nothing more was true. Wow, a bunch of things go into this car. We're definitely gonna see a Vika Vault this turn. So that's going to be, yeah, unless all of our rare candies are priced. How many energies in this? Oh, a little. That's not a Vika Vault. So four energies in the discard already. We have our uh, Evelt doll which looks very menacing uh, card like, like here. Okay, if we get a Guzma, we can maybe knock out one of the little Grubbins here. So, we do see Skyla, and Skyla will grab the Rare Candy. That's what it's gonna do here. Skyla, Rare Candy, and then Tapu Bulu will show up, presumably hitting us in the face for a bunch of damage. She needs to rely, of course, on the attack Nature Judgment or Tapu Wilderness to get the one-hit KO, but if she uses Tapu Wilderness, she has to discard all of her energy. So I wonder what she will be able to do right here. So energy coming here. How many lightning energies does she still have left? He also needs a grass attachment this turn. Two, two, two lightning energies in the discard. I don't know how many lightning energies he runs. Uh, hopefully the evil tall can just uh, prove itself to be worthy here. What else are we having here? We also have the Darkness Blade dealing 100 damage. And uh, yeah, this is just going to be a nature, uh, a little horn attack here. Cool. Okay, we have an Ultra Ball to work with. Cool. Uh, this one deals 120, 150. So we definitely need an Ultra Ball. We're gonna, gonna get rid of that DCE. We don't need it at the moment. And Choice Bands are very nifty here. We definitely need those to hit for extra damage. Mmm. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna use rely on a 
Sycamore here. So let's get rid of these guards. We don't need any energies, everything has been set up here. So we can rely on Oronguru to draw cards or Tapu Lele. Tapu Lele will also give up two prize cards, but it will uh, make sure that we have consistency here. So Tapu Lele is the way to go at this stage in the game. So Tapu Lele, and we will grab... Oh, we have Guzma here. Guzma can be very nifty. We can never get the one-hit KO on Tapu Bulu here, and I, she's going to rely on a one-hit KO move. We can Guzma out something, or N, or Sycamore. What will we possibly need? There's no energies that we need, there's absolutely nothing that we need. Guzma could be nice to just get an attack off on something, but we don't have any energies to work with. Maybe we can knock out a little Grubbin. And ba 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 nah 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 nah. I think it's going to go with Sycamore here. Sycamore it is. Choice band coming here. Choice band coming there. Maybe the Guzma would have been the better play. And keeping that Max Elixir in the hand. So this one deals some damage. We can retreat. Mm-hmm. Strafe, you may switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. Okay, cool. I'm gonna try something crazy here. We are gonna rely on this strategy. We can deal with 150 damage, but uh, she's definitely going to rely on her GX move to heal up all the damage. So uh, let's just check the discard here. Two Guzmas in the discard. Maybe we can make use of that. So we are gonna retreat into our uh, Eveltar here, dealing 30 damage while also, you know, we're also gonna bench this uh, Latios down. It's awesome. Let's use that strafe attack, dealing 30 damage, and we're gonna swap into our Hoopa, because we possibly can. Oh, there we go. Hoopa has been set up, now she needs, she is parallel, she can no longer rely on Tapu Lele, and Hoopa is in the active position, so she needs to rely on Fika Volt in order to get things off. Oh well. Let's see here. Two Guzmas in the discard, that is awesome. So Hoopa is in the active. We have our strafe, can also deal 100, actually 90 damage here. We can definitely set up our uh, Evelto once again. We have two Max Elixirs already in the discard. So energy coming to Hoopa without the, <laughs> yeah, she's just gonna, gonna pass the turn and we are gonna smack our poke with the Hoopa here. We have no float stones. Do -do 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 -do. Who's my retreat? I think I'm just gonna... She's definitely gonna use that GX move here, which is... I don't even care at this point. So we're gonna slap 80 damage. Actually, 110 damage. Now she needs to rely on that GX move. And uh, maybe she has a Guzma in the hand, but that already wasted one Guzma. That, uh, her Guzmas are gone. She's gonna have a really hard time facing this Hoopa here. That way she has to rely on Vika Volt. And I don't know how many energy recyclers she is running here. So Field Blower gets rid of the Parallel City and the Choice Band, so maybe she still has access to a Lele, and with the Lele she can grab whatever she feels like. Maybe a Lele, Guzma, and then energies onto the active to retreat. Could be the case where well, she can just one-shot a Tapu Lele. Okay, Ultra Ball. Okay, the Recycler is gone. The Recycler is gone. That is cool. And now she can rely on Tapu Lele, and she's going to Guzma out our uh, Lele GX. And I don't think she runs more than three Guzma, so then we can safely poke around with Hoopa until we win, which is going to work out in our favor. Because one energy recycler goes away, I don't know how, that is very crucial. One energy recycler, maybe she runs two. Energy going to the... Vika Volt. And one to the Lele, so now we do see Guzma here. And that is probably her third Guzma. I don't think she runs more than that. Lele will see the discard here, unfortunately. With even the uh, Tapu Wilderness GX, so she will heal. Oh! What strange target is that? Okay, she does not uh, destroy the Lele here. But she now has to top deck, which is awesome. Okay. How many choice bands in the discard? One. That's going to be two choice bands in the discard. 80 damage is way better than the 90 damage, so let's get that Hoopa going on. Also, Guzma can work in our favor. 
now that I think about it. We can Guzma this one, 80 damage again. Okay, I'm fine with that. Fine with that. She only has one card in hand. Let's grab the Vikavol. Here we go. And yeah, do we bench the Veltal? She might end us, doesn't even matter too much. We're just gonna bench it regardless. And here it comes, the Super Psyball. 480 damage. So if we use that attack once again, she will <laughs> she will be stuck with only using GXs, which is awesome. Either she attacks with the Vika Volt. If she does not have an energy, we got this. If she has an energy, we will be screwed over. So strong charge. How many energies in our, in our discard? That is five energies, six, eight, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is going to be all the energies, or does she have a supporter in the hand? We still have another Hoopa left in the deck and we can get it out with the Ultra Ball and then strafe into it. So I'm kind of curious what she will be able to pull here. She only has 13 cards left in the deck. So she is going to retreat, probably has another Energy Recycler, I presume. In this situation, we don't want to get rid of all a bunch of cards, although we can get out an Eveltal Break. Eh, let's use Cynthia. We can end her later. Boom! What do we get? We got a Floatstone and a Guzma, so that is awesome to work with next turn. So we don't even need to bench all these things, although if she ends, we might slap something down. I'm just gonna wait. Ah, let's just slap down the Coco. Could be helpful later down the line. Also gonna wait with the uh, Floatstone because she might, of course, have uh, a Field Blower. Okay, what do we got? Another Hoopa. This is very, 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 very crucial that we got this Hoopa. We still have Super Rod in the deck, so that is going to be awesome. So, Ultra Ball. I don't know what she is planning here. Still has two car 12 cards left in the deck, so there's the Mew. Mew can knock out Hoopa. Next turn, we definitely destroyed this uh, Fike Volt. Okay, cool. Cool, that is awesome. So let's get rid of the Vika Vault, which is the main threat here of the opponent that can one shot Hoopa. So, poof! We can even give energies to something else if we want to. We still have more energies left in the deck, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight. We still have access to Super Rod. So, just gonna set up Coco, 20 on everything. Good workout. Just gonna set up a little Evelt all here. So let's go with the Super Psy Ball. Boom! Okay, no more Vika Vault, and she is in top deck position. Come on! Where do we go from here? This is so it looks like the list is working out. Definitely like the Strafe here. Strafe into Hoopa is awesome. She doesn't have access to Vika Vault, so uh, no energies coming onto the Mew. And we will most likely see the victory here. Bulu, Rainbow Bulu, and looks like Evelto Break showed how it's work, how it's working here. Okay, we don't need to rely on anything. How many floatstones in this card? Zero. We might just as well attach one, although we might get stuck in the active position. So let's just slap a bunch of uh, news to the discard, and then comes the Tapu Bulu here. Okay, Ultra Ball, and I wonder how this will turn out. She has really stuck in the active. He might draw into a Guzma. Okay, she just passes the turn. Max Elixir? How cool is that? It definitely will work. It will work. Okay, what is that? Maybe we can get out Evelto Break once again. Let's get rid of the Mewtwo. Let's get rid of the N. And let's grab Evelto Break once again. We only need one Darkness Energy and we can start using that attack of Evelto Break to get ourselves the victory here. Boom! Evelto Break shows up once again, and we are just gonna use Super Psy Ball. So next turn we have access to the attack of uh, Evelto. So the only thing we will need is an energy, and off we go. We one shot this Lele. So will we get the energy with the Cynthia? Presumably. So this is going to be okay. This is DCE, not that we need that. So Floatstone coming onto this Evelto, and we're just gonna Cynthia away so we can draw that. 
darkness energy that we so desperately need and we get the choice band so it does not even matter at all so here it comes the super side bolt and that's how the Evelto break works so as you guys are all a fan of you guys want more multiple matches that has been uh, stated a bazillion amount of times on the comment section so let's go with another round don't have uh, that much time so hopefully this will uh, also be a great match so Evelto break a very interesting deck indeed and it did work out against big GX so this time around we're facing very Okay, this is going to be Gardevoir. Gardevoir is also a GX heavy attack move, and hopefully, er, uh, her. This is a guy, it's a guy. Hopefully, his Galates will be priced. Okay, we have nothing to work with. We also are dealing resistance, so knocking out Gardevoir GXs will be insanely hard indeed. Please wait while the opponent chooses the active Pokemon. So hopefully, things will uh, go a little bit quickly because the camera battery will not last that long we still only have I think maximum of 10 12 minutes so hopefully this will be a great showing here so let's g we even get a mulligan even though we run a couple of Pokemon so Evelthal okay starting with the Latios is definitely not bad because Latios okay Latios do we start we definitely gonna draw into a DCE you're gonna see that so we're just gonna keep it at that Mewtwo from the evolution set also has a great attack against of course Galate so that's going to be nice to play with so we can start first smack down the Mewtwo we are gonna start our match with a uh, Max Elixir boom let's go with that and hopefully we can draw into something we need with the Cynthia we're not gonna oh maybe we should have end here oh well it is what it is here comes Evelto we're gonna give an energy to Latios and that's going to be that next turn we give an energy to Latios once again so this guy is weak to psychic so we're gonna deal 60 damage and 30 on something on the bench this one deals 20 damage to two of your opponent's bench Pokemon so that is not going to apply resist or don't apply weakness which is awesome so in case hello in case in case look okay this is kind of weird I see fairy types and the Molomar variant, I thought this was going to be Gardevoir and uh, I was kind of wrong. So the end is great. If we draw into, uh, of course, what do we need? Floatstone and a Guzma, we're good. Kukui, or actually a Coco and a... There's a lot of great things here. Great things to work with. So Hyperspace, bunch, well, bunch of these one prize attackers. This is going to be crazy. Okay, we got another Evelto, we got a Hoopa. Mm, I'm just gonna bench a bunch of stuff so we don't draw into it later down the line We're gonna get that energy onto the Latios and we are just gonna use Cynthia Come on, what do we get? We got Oranguru, Oranguru is nice So we can draw and use Instruct, so that's going to be We actually hit for Psychic Weakness, so if this one at 20, 40, 60, that is enough. Mewtwo can take care of the Latio, so little in case will be the ones that get targeted here. 60 damage. Come on. Too bad that we didn't cut our Kuzma. Kuzma would have been so amazing in this situation where we could have just targeted an Inke and knocked one out. Oh well, Malamar shows its face. Maybe she actually he's going to rely on Lagoon Flight, Sycamore coming out as well. So one prize Malamar deck. Very peculiar indeed. But definitely gonna work. We do have resistance to psychic with our Hoopa, so at least we have that. And this one is going to get a bunch of energy. So we have 20 damage, 40 damage, 60. Hey, what is going on here? Breakthrough. That is not going to be enough. Not going to be enough indeed. Okay, come on, Guzma, where are you at? And N. Are you kidding me? Ah oh, man. Well, if it is like that, we are gonna set up Eveltal. So hopefully we draw into some Max Elixir here. Not looking very bright indeed. Ultra Ball can work out. We can retreat, but that breakthrough is definitely gonna get us later. Ah oh, man. Yeah, let's target the Molomars turn after turn after turn. Come on, we need a Guzman next turn. So if he knocks us out, we only have one Latio, so that is definitely not great. 
But this one is already prepped. If we get Evelto Breakout and a bunch of Max Elixirs, things are still promising. So we only need to hit one Max Elixir and attach one energy, get that Evelto Breakout, and we should be good to go. And, and once again, <laughs> crazy match indeed. Crazy match indeed. Let's see what we get. Max Elixir, cool. We can work with that, we can work with that. We also need Floatstone here. Psychic Recharge, is he gonna swing in with his uh, Hoopa? I don't know. Cool. This is going to be... 30 on the Evelto. Wow, that was a great choice, man. Props to you. We need to dispose of these cards. We still have access to Lele. Access to Lele can get rid of... Man. This is not looking good. We're just gonna set up our Mewtwo here for now. And see how we go from there. Max Elixir. Landing successfully. Boom. Ultra Ball. I don't think Choice Band will matter in this situation. Let's get Evelto Breakout. We're gonna deal 30 on everything, which will be awesome to see here. Evelto. Do we bench this one? I don't think so. We need bench space for something more. Boom! We get the Darkness Energy, but we don't get anything to work with afterwards. So DC coming here, choice band for the sakes of it. And let's just knock out this Latio spoof. Hopefully he does not have a Guzma because we are looking very scary. But if he gets the Guzma, Mewtwo can then dispose again of this main attacker Hoopa. So two of these Pokemon. Another Hoopa, wow. Hoopa from the, I think is the Steam Siege set, could be wrong. Is this deck definitely does work better against GXs? Hoopa with Malamars is going to be our downfall. No! Another Hoopa shows up. Max Elixir as well. Is this going to be a Guzma? Otherwise, we will be screwed over. I don't see any Guzmas whatsoever. Okay, Guzma. Oh no, Evelto break. We'll see the discard. 20, 40, 60, 80. We're definitely gonna one shot this Hoopa. So we get the first Initiator of the attack. We still have access to a co two Max Elixirs, so I think we're kinda good here. So Portal Strike gets the KO. Ah, annoying. So we need to set up another Evelto. Let's bench the Coco. Energy coming here. And and our Sycamore. We definitely need those Max Elixirs right now. I'm definitely gonna rely on Cynthia here. Don't want to discard everything we have in the deck. Let's see what we get. Okay, we have Floatstone. At least we can work with that. And maybe he's going to target Evelto here. He can target Evelto if he wants to. Let's dispose of this and that. Okay, we don't have anything to work with. Maybe we're gonna set up another Mewtwo here. While we can. To get the damage going. So Psychic once again. Boom! Crazy match indeed. Let's grab another prize card. Oh, come on. Evil to break. Evil to break. We need our break. But everything is weak to Psychic. So at least we can roll with our Mewtwo's turn after turn. Three of the Malamar. Wow. Now things are going crazy. This one we can one shot if we super rod in our Latios. So that is cool. Portal Strike. Boom. Gets the KO. We will get the KO. Again, promoting the free retreat, always the best strategy. And here comes the Mewtwo once again. So choice band coming on to... F I don't even know at this point. Let's put it here. And go with the Sycamore. Well, we have Max Elixir and Super Rod. So what do we need to work with? Super Rod. Let's put back Evelto Break. And a bunch of energies. But Evelto Break does not dispose of Hoopa, so maybe this will be better. Ah man, difficult strategies. How many 
How many DCEs in our discard? Two. Okay, I'm just comfortable with getting those back in the deck. Come on, Max Elixir, we only need to hit one. All right, there we go. And there, this one is optional, but could help out as well. Okay, we did it, we did it, cool. So now that we did, got this out of the way, Mewtwo, destroy this Hoopa! Poof. Now we need our Evil Toll Break so we can get two prize cards at once. Ah, another Hoopa, we, don't, we need uh, Evil Toll Break right now so we can get rid of this Molomar and get rid of another Molomar so we can get rid of two Molomar. So that will be amazing. Ooh, very, very, very close game. I'm very stoked here. Three prize cards, three prize cards. It's a non GX. Two Hoopas in his discard. Maybe he's running the Rescue Stretcher. There's a bunch of Psychic Energies. He can also attack with Molomar, but Molomar can stand damage short if he decides to attack with Molomar. He also needs a Float Stone or maybe an Energy equipped it onto Molomar, but this could be a problem with six of the Energies in the discard. Ooh, crazy, crazy, crazy. Next turn we have Guzma, so we can at least destroy one of these uh, Molomars. And these Enhanced Hammers do not work. Oh, little Marsh Shadow. What is this? Now we need our choice band. Max Elixir fails. Sycamore, okay. Marsh Shadow, hello. Marsh Shadow is a two prize attacker, so if we're gonna get uh, Guzma onto this guy with a choice band, things are pop. Oh man, another one of those annoying guys. Hopefully he does not run floatstones. Although he has Ultra of the Moon. Energy is coming onto Mars Shadow instead of the Hoopa. Oh wow. Energy coming here. Retreat and Hoopa is going to show the might. Wow. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Now we definitely are gonna end the opponent here. Although Sycamore would be better to draw into our resources. Field Blow gets rid of Choice Band. And our Mewtwo will see the discard, so he at least needs to knock out two of our Pokemon. So Mars Shadow gets the KO. We need Choice Band. We need Choice Band and our Evelto Break. Tapu Lele. We're not gonna bench Tapu Lele, that would be crazy. Tapu Lele, Guzma. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Not gonna work, not gonna work. Let's bench the Hoopa for the sakes of it. And we can end the opponent to two cards. Well, we need our resources, so Sycamore it is. Let's see what we get. DCE and Evelto break. DCE and Evelto break. Wow. That is indeed a huge, huge turn. Flying flip, 20 on everything. How many Guzmas in his discard? Two. This is a crazy matchup. Indeed. Parallel City. 20 on everything is kind of neat. Oh, this is crazy. Do we put 20 on everything or do we start attacking with Strafe? Ah, what do we do? We are... We need that 30 damage. That's the only logical explanation here. We're actually 20 on everything does sound okay to me. Yeah, we're gonna put 30, 30 on that and we're just gonna rely on strafe and just retreat onto into a hoopa. Boom! Ah shit! If he has Guzma, we're done for. Maybe we should have already evolved into the break. Wow, that is definitely the case. We should have evolved into the break. That way we would have won. Well, misplays happen every day, I guess. So, uh, wow. That is unfortunate. If we got evolved into the break, we can just use Guzma and we could have won the game by targeting the Marshall, one-shotting the Marshall while one-shotting the, the Molomar as well. Lele. So, yeah. We would have won if we would have evolved into Evelto Break, so that was a kind of a misplay on my part. But as you see, this deck is very, very solid. Uh, we are still not lost yet, but uh, it does seem like we are gonna see the loss here. Hoopa? What is going on? He definitely has Guzma. I don't want to see Guzma right here. 
If I see Guzman, I'm gonna cry because I got a misplay right. Cynthia, we got it! We got it, we got it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, disregard my misplay. Uh, we have the Evelto break. Oh, wow. Okay, we survived this hit, so this is going to be game. Oh, wow, we still survived that hit, so we are gonna target this. More shadow. I thought I was going to lose. Oh, well. Things happen every day. Here comes the Velto break, showing you the might that this break has. So uh, this is going to be well played. Uh, we are gonna use the uh, Baleful Knight, 120 damage, and we're gonna put 30 on everything. So that's going to be the game. Evelto break takes home the victory. So that is how the deck functions. Hopefully you got a, a big knowledge of how the deck functions. And uh, let me know in the comment section what you would change about the list. Are you gonna try it out yourself? Be sure to let me know in the comment section. Also like the video if you enjoyed what you saw, because more Pokemon TCG content is uh, being uploaded on the channel almost every day. So you don't wanna miss out. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.